Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to our channel. I am Rofia Sin. In the previous video, we successfully displayed each user's access and we also validate users or restrict user access from if the current role of user is not admin, then user cannot add user role, view role, use add user and view users. And user also cannot see this menu item over here for performing these operations. Okay. In this particular video, and i'm also very happy that we successfully completed this course as i have told you in the very previous video startup video i have told you that we are not going to build a campus management system the purpose of this video tutorial series is to teach you how to you can say how to create user management system for your each application so now at this stage we have successfully created our user management system we are now validating users we are now we can now create new users view users update users delete users we can create new roles we can assign roles to many users we can view roles update and delete roles we can perform change password and we can also log in and log out to our application so this is this course is all about this stuff and Congratulations for doing this and this is not you uh, you don't waste your time because I am telling you the value of this course now if you look at this uh, before watching 25 or 26 video you know that this is a very bit complicated and long long uh, process in every application you have to do in every application you have to make logins log out and change password create users create roles and stuff like that but now congratulations if you have follow me then in the future you don't need to create every time all of this stuff i am telling you i am uh, showing you now a trick how to create template for this project and then you can reuse this template again and again in your upcoming projects rather than creating a uh, one from scratch and writing all of this code or copy pasting and copy pasting designing tool and stuff like that we will save this project as a template so basically this is the startup project for every application every application should have all of these functionalities as a startup so we have successfully implemented startup and now we can uh, save this project as a template so that our each and every next project should have all of this uh, functionality built in okay so exit go to file and go to export template we are going to export this project as an template and this is the project template next we don't want to uh, you can also specify if you don't need this uh, you can say if you only need login form then you can uh, save this login form with it all of its code and design using item template but i wanna uh, export this as a whole project next and then you can write your name so i will write startup project and i can also add template description that this project has users and users roles change password login logout and restrict access with dashboard okay and you can also specify the image and you can also preview uh, you can also set the preview image for this template but i don't have any images and i don't wanna set up over here and also make sure that the location where this template is going to be saved you can also copy this location if you need and click on finish done our template is successfully created at this location uh, complete desktop project template user template and start a project and stuff like that so now what to do let's say i want to create an student management system or i want to create an hospital management system close this solution and file new and project and inside our classic windows i will rename this application as first look at this we don't have any template over here but a project for creating an application within windows form user interface search install template so we have created our own startup template look at this uh, desktop starter template and i don't remember <laughs> startup project 
look at this startup project and you can also see description this project has users roles change password login logout and restrict access with dashboard and now i can rename this project as hospital management don't use spaces spaces are not good management system dash uh, you can also specify app and i will change this directory to my desktop and i'll create a new project select and now click ok done this is our very first and new project hospital management system but now you can see inside this hospital management system we have all of our forms and if you open one of our form and let me check what the designer could not be let's say let's see wait while and you have dashboard form login form and all of our forms and our general classes and stuff like that if i build this project okay now open up your change password or simply first open up your template form where is our template form open up this one and now you can open up this one look at this perfect this is our dashboard form perfect login form template form users form view roles form and all of these forms has a uh, complete built-in code now this is uh, fine with the desktop application this is uh, we are getting all of our design forms and codes but now how to use our existing database because you know this uh, application is linked within database so we have our database over here so if you right click on users management go to script uh, go to task and go to generate scripts next and i want to sell sell script entire database and all database objects next and click save to new query window and click on advance and over here type of data to be script use schema and data because we wanna uh, our roles and uh, users exist in, the in this database okay now click on next next and it will generate a script for us so that we can reuse this one okay so before going to this script let me please select from here and go down towards where we are creating our table over here delete this one okay and now remove this one as well but before removing let me go towards stone and remove this one as well okay and now go to at the top and let's say i want to create database create database hospital db okay just select this one uh, remove this one just select this one and click on execute look at this command executed successfully now instead of using uh, hospital management uh, user management we can use hospital db get rid of this one and now control a and click on you can use hospital db from here as well this is our hospital db and click on execute look at this one row affected and now you can explore your hospital db where it is right click and refresh and this is our hospital db this these are our tables and you can see we have successfully created our roles user privileges users and if you go to programmability store procedure and you will find all of our store procedure over here the last thing you need to do is to change the name of your database inside your new project copy and go to visual studio and go to app.config file and over here we specify in the pre first video or second video user management or database you can change to hospital db and if you start your application now look at this perfect our application is working now set up login done boom you have successfully created your new project with all of existing functionality and all of store procedure and all of your database stuff thank you so much for watching this course 
i am very happy that i have successfully completed it, this course if you need any part of the source code to this application or if you need any assistance or any guidance or any if you feel any difficulty in writing code or uh, any errors you can contact me but below in the comment section okay thank you so much for watching we'll meet again in the next uh, course with the new features and with new tools and technologies thank you so much allah face assalam alaikum